welcome back to another episode of Commuting in the Morning to Work. That's the name of the show. For all you thousands of viewers out there, good morning to you. to work or if you're just at home in your bed snuggled up, good for you. Hope your day is going good. Um, on my way to work, half asleep, tired as you know what. I read two things yesterday that kind of st- stuck in my crawl. I don't know if you guys have seen it. That shooting at the, I don't know, it's like a high school game or something. Somebody came out and shot the coach and killed him over an argument. I see multiple stories where they're saying that was Aqib Tlaib's brother did that. The Arab Tlaib or some shit. But let me know if that's valid or not. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. So, my thing. Alright, Aqib Tlaib, we know he was a hothead. Anybody who watches football, he would play cornerback in the NFL. He was really good. But he was a hothead like most of them are. Like the Richard Shermans, you know, the uh, Josh Normans. They're not good anymore. I don't, I don't even know if they're playing right now, but but his brother, younger brother, I believe, shot and killed a coach. And he's caught and he's locked up. Shot and killed one of the coaches, which is crazy to me. I just that's ridiculous. You know, it's like, come on, man. It's like, what can you do? You know what I mean? Like, I, I get it. I mean, nothing's ever worth shooting or killing somebody. That's number one. All right, so that's... That I'm just thinking about all freaking night. And all this morning. Another story that stuck out to me, and it's not really a big story. Sam Darnold got a high ankle sprain or something. He's not even the starter anyway, so I don't understand why that's a headline. But they're going to start bigger than Mayfield. Fighting, I didn't get to see who that was, but it's you know, 
nonetheless, it's something. Right now, it's going on. It's a big story. Um, one other thing. And look, I know you guys. You, uh, you get in the comment section. I got hundreds of comments, okay? You guys love to share the video and all that. That's cool. All the likes, all the inboxes, that's awesome. If you have any feedback on what I can do, or just, I don't know, mention the topic you want to hear me talk about, then I'll do that. Like I said, I do have my top 10 tight ends this year coming out probably by tomorrow. Um, so stay tuned for that. If there's anything in the meantime, you have to react to, talk about power, give me some type of criticism, good feedback, bad feedback. I can take it all. It's okay. I mean, I understand I'm going to this. A lot of things I can sharpen up, but uh, yeah. I'm open to it. Just let me know uh, what you want me to react to, what you want me to read, or whatever it is. I'm okay with that. Let me drop that issue in the comment section. You feel me? Other than that. work right now.